Hi everybody and welcome, I'm Coach Carolyn and today I want to talk to you guys about lag. I know you've heard so much about lag and I'm sure your coach has bored you to death with saying, oh, you need lag to create distance, you need this, you need that, and lag is important and you're like, what in the world is lag? So let's talk about it. All right, lag is what we as coaches and golfers refer to the amount of shaft angle, shaft to arm angle that you have as you're going into impact. So the delay between your hands and your club head really in the downswing. So if you have no lag, it looks something like this, right? If you, if your, if your shaft starts to match your arm and your wrist angles as you're coming down, it's also kind of, you could call it casting, you could call it scooping, you could call it negative shaft angle at impact because your club head is essentially overtaking your body, overtaking your arms and your hands. So that is what we refer to as lag. And essentially, if you're able to keep the lag and create that lag, it's you holding this angle right here between your wrist and your shaft angle and your up, um, upper arm, the other upper arm, the lower forearm for as long as you can before impact to then hit the ball and release it just before impact. That's where the oomph, the power, the hit, the distance comes from in the golf swing. So this is not easy to create for a lot of players. However, there is a very simple explanation of how you can create it. You don't need a ton of athleticism. Yes, you do need obviously some wrist flexibility and some flexibility overall, but everybody on this green golf course, on God's green golf course, can create some sort of lag. A lot of the time, no lag is a result of a different issue and a different mistake in the backswing, which is overswinging. Um, and overswinging, again, has another root cause of just not being able to hold your angles in the backswing. And there's, again, another video that relates to my knees, especially my footwork and my front, my lead knee, that if the lead knee breaks down, the hip structure breaks down, you are overswinging, and then you're in a position where you have your club already passed parallel, and people have to kind of, to get it into the downswing, you almost have to cast it out. And that's really going to be tough because if you have to cast it back out into the downswing, throw it at the ball, you're not just going to now somehow create lag. You guys are all athletic, but nobody's that athletic. So the lack of lag often comes from a poor backswing, a poor body structure in the backswing. So I'm going to link that video below for you to understand where the knee should be, where the lower body should be. But if we're assuming that we have somewhat fixed our overswinging, but we still want more lag and the feeling of how to create it, here's a really, really simple tip and a simple drill that I want to show you that is going to, even for the people that are overswinging, but again, if you're overswinging, you're going to have to go watch the other video that makes sure that you don't break down with your knees and with your hips and kind of lets you, you know, release that tension that we need. And ideally, you're going to be able to keep that tension and that your left knee moves forward versus inward. That's going to really help you with your overswinging if you're doing it. Assumably you're here. Now, a lot of people say, okay, what do I do from the top of my backswing to keep that? I want you to feel like the butt of your club or your hands, depending on which one you relate to better, go away from your body. I want you to feel like the first thing in your downswing, as you're at the top of your backswing, you feel like you're pushing that away. Because see what happens when I push this away, what happens, guys? the club head gets closer to me. The shaft drops towards me as I'm pushing my hands away. And that's just physics, right? If I'm pushing my hands away, if I was to pull my hands in, what happens? My club actually goes away from me, my club head goes out, and I'm doing this casting motion. My club head can now overtake my hands and my body. So if you're able to get to the top of your backswing and then feel like you're pushing those hands away and out, that's really gonna help you get your club head and your shaft closer to you. And what does that do? That actually increases this angle. It increases the lag. Magic. So all I want you to feel when you go out there next, if you want more compression, if you want more contact and more solid hit on the ball, if you could just feel like you can't translate that power into your ball, that you feel like you're building up, try to feel this. So let's hit some balls with this. First, I'm gonna take some practice swings and then I'm gonna hit some balls with that feeling. So first practice swing. Top of the backswing, feel like I'm getting away from my body with those hands and let that club head drop closer to me on the top. And then I'm gonna actually start some actual swings. And you can do this with some speed. Just feel like at the top of the backswing, you're moving your hands 
away and you're pushing those hands away from your body in a downswing. Because again, ironically, it's going to bring your club head closer to your body, centripetal force, it's a beautiful thing. And you're going to be able to create more speed, you're going to be able to create more lag, hold that lag longer and be able to put more compression into your golf ball. Oh, this feels so good. It really improves your impact quickly and simply. And it's really almost a non-technical thought. To me, this doesn't feel very technical at all, guys. And I know everybody's different. But I'm just thinking about pushing my hands and the button of my club away as I start my downswing. Yeah, I just really like this feeling. Try it next time that you're on the range and even when you're out on the golf course. This is going to help you massively if you're struggling with just not being able to get that compression into your ball. Give it a try. Let me know in the comment section below what you think. I always love to hear from my followers. If this is your first time on my channel, please like, subscribe, and feel free to tell me what you want to see next. I always take recommendations because my job is to help you guys. So if you tell me what you want to see, I'm here for you. See you next time.